Hello everyone, this is Anthony with Diesel Laptops, and today we're going to show you a VGT actuator calibration with one of our dealer level diagnostic tools, the Kajali Jaw Test Commercial Vehicles Kit. Um, so what we've done is we have a code in 1894. Um, we pulled up our Diesel Laptops troubleshooting. We've gone down to step four. Um, everything's checked out. The last thing it says to do here is replace the actuator. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you this process with the old actuator. Um, first thing we need to do is get into our ECM here. We'll go to our calibration tab. We'll go ahead and expand all actions. And we're going to go to our initial installation. Um, you'll be prompted for your expert mode code there. Through our prerequisites. All right, and as you can see here, um, you're going to have a little checklist that you can follow through. Um, basically, just making sure that you have everything disconnected and ready to go. One thing we do need to do before we even start, if you'll come in here, we're going to check our turbo and make sure we don't have any kind of uh, stiction when we when we move our shaft here. So you can see it moves very free, very easy. That's how you're going to want it. Now you're always going to want to set the veins all the way closed. Okay. We will then plug our actuator in here. Like that. And we can carry on in the actual process. As you can see, you'll get a little movement there. Then you'll get a process is finished notification. At this point, we can then install our actuator. Now the best thing to do is to put in two bolts here. Um, you don't have to tighten everything completely up to do this process, but I would recommend the two bolts. Um, for sure. It's important to note that when you're installing your turbo actuator that you do not accidentally move the, uh, the vane shaft um, out of position. Um, also you should not have to force the actuator on, it should pretty well slide in um, when you have the, the gear aligned. All right, now we can continue with the calibration portion. And once again, you'll be prompted for expert mode. Accept, go through your initial conditions. And make our checks here. And once it's complete, it'll give us a uh, a notification letting us know that the process is over with and then you can continue reassembling your turbo um, and anything else that you may have taken off for access. And there we go, we got our calibration complete and we are good to go from there. Now I'd like to give you a look at the jaw test reporting feature that is included with your Kajali jaw test kit. To access it, you can click the GRP icon in the top left, go to reports, and then select the report that you'd like to view. Um, once you open the report, um, it's important to note that some of the customer information and um, shop information is not included, but can be set up to appear on the reports. Um, these reports are excellent for, you know, holding yourself accountable to your customers. Um, it includes all the vehicle information, uh, fault codes, including freeze frame data. Um, and even as you scroll down, you'll see uh, like system data. Um, you can view live parameters on these reports and even show some of the the testing features. So, for example, we have the cylinder cut out here and we got our initial conditions met and you, have, you see a graph at the bottom. Um, so when you're performing procedures kind of like your VGT actuation or actuator calibration, um, you're going to, to see these kind of things um, 
actually show up on the report so that you can give to your customers and say, look, I actually did this, and like I said, hold yourself accountable um, for working on their, their vehicles, which um, they will appreciate, and it gives you sort of a, um, a little bit of, of coverage. So if they were to claim that you didn't make a repair or didn't do something, you have um, some proof to, to back up your findings um, and, and the reasons that you made the repair. Uh, for more information on this tool and others, visit us at www.diesellaptops.com.